So why is this not a huge stinking deal that Jared Kushner got a $2 billion payoff from the Saudis, Steve Mnuchin got a $1 billion payoff from the Saudis, and nobody knows how much money the Saudis gave to Donald Trump, but he's acting like he's fat and happy down there in Mar-a-Lago. What's going on with this? Who's looking into this? Or for that matter, why is nobody looking into this? It seems. Let me just put this in context. I remember 1980. In 1980, Jimmy Carter was still president of the United States. This was in July of 1980, and it was his last year as, well, you could say, you know, January, up until January 20th of 81, he was still president. And he had a younger brother, Billy, who had done a bunch of things to try to monetize the fact that his brother was president. He was selling beer. Remember Billy Beer? But the thing that got him into real serious trouble was he hopped out a plane and flew over to Libya and met with Muammar Gaddafi, who wrote him a check for $200,000 in exchange for Billy coming back to the United States and saying nice things about Libya. His own brother, the President of the United States, ordered an investigation into his brother, into Billy. President Carter released a public statement saying, quote, I do not believe it is appropriate for a close relative of the president to undertake any assignment on behalf of a foreign government. Republicans called it Billy Gate. President Carter came out and said, I waive all claims of executive privilege with regard to my brother. The White House will fully cooperate in any investigation, whether it's the DOJ or Congress. He actually issued an executive order saying that nobody who is a relative of me, Jimmy Carter, none of my relatives may lobby or interact with U.S. government officials. He published a 92-page report, President Carter did, about everything he knew and everything the government was able to find out about President Carter's making 200 grand from the Libyans. Everybody in America was like, whoa! I mean, this, to keep in mind, he was on his way out. He would no longer be president in seven months. This was July of 1980. He was leaving the White House in January of, of 81. He could have just let this ride. He could have just said, eh, it's no big deal. Hey, it's my brother. Let him keep the money. He could have, like Donald Trump, said, wow, well, you know, we'll ride out the clock. But no, he did the right thing because he was Jimmy Carter. He was a Democrat. He was a good man. And now we're learning... This is on April 10th, just, just, you know, 11 days ago. The New York Times revealed that six months ago, Jared Kushner got two, a $2 billion payoff from the Saudi government, which is refusing to cooperate now with the Biden administration to lower gas prices. And Steve Mnuchin, the former Treasury Secretary, the guy that, that you know, in California, they call him the foreclosure king because he, he, uh, he, he was using robo signers illegally and threw over 10,000 Californians out of their homes during the, the great housing crash in 2008. That's how Mnuchin got rich, in part. He used to be with Goldman Sachs, too. He got a billion dollars. So now we're discovering that Jared was the guy, the man in the middle, who brokered a $110 million, or excuse me, $110 billion sale of weapons to Saudi Arabia over the objections of Congress so that the Saudis could use this money to destroy Yemen. That it was Jared Kushner who organized a PR campaign. Mohammed bin Salman, you know, the, the, the dictator of Saudi Arabia, bragged about this. 
I mean, that was a minor scandal when it came out two years ago. Oh, yeah, we've got Jared Kushner in our back pocket. He'll do what we want. It wasn't the exact quote, but it was words to that effect. And Kushner ran interference for him on the murder of Khashoggi, which happened while Donald Trump was president. Kind of vanished, went away. And now he gets a $2 billion payoff. This is an attack on democracy. This is not just a scandal. This is an attack on democracy. It's an attempt to subvert and corrupt the American form of government.